Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the ability to tighten and lift the skin of the neck, something that I've talked about on this channel before. Several videos like this one where I talk about everything from the techniques of skincare products to in-office therapies. But today I'm gonna to be giving you five ways that dermatologists recommend for you to get that more youthful, tightened, taut, sexier looking skin around the neck. It's all coming up for you next in today's video. All right, so again today we're talking about lifting and tightening the skin around the neck, which is a really big problem. We see people walk around all the time where they've taken really good care of their face, but not so much the neck area and the chest area. And you know, 20, 30 years ago, people weren't really being told to take care of that area. So it makes sense why that would be so, but today we know better, right? right? So that said, if you're new and this is your first time watching me on the channel, I'm Chris. I'm a skincare expert and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do you more harm than good. So that's the kind of skincare information you've been looking for here on YouTube. Please be sure and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up each week. All right, so first on the list, when it comes to improving the skin on the neck area, right under the chin, all to the sides, and even the back, we always want to think about hydration and collagen boosting techniques. And when it comes to boosting collagen in the skin, the number one ingredient for that that you can use at home is a retinol moisturizing cream. Retinols help reverse sun damage. They help boost collagen production, which actually thickens the skin. And if we thicken the skin around the neck area, it is going to tighten and lift to some degree. Now, retinols are not surgery. It's a topical. It's going to take time for it to work, but it will work. The caveat here is that neck skin being a somewhat thinner than the skin on our face sometimes can be a little sensitive to retinols. So most people, when they begin using a retinol product, they have an acclimation period. Use about a month or two. There's some redness. There's some dryness. So it's really important when you're using retinol on the neck to start slow and go slow. And what I mean by that is using a product that is very mild in nature, using a product like an encapsulated retinol, and then going every other day at first, watching for any undue irritation and redness, because you can always pull back and go every three days. But it is going to take your skin most likely some time to acclimate, but the benefits of retinol are just untold. And I know that you guys that watch a lot of YouTube videos, here there are people out there that say retinol ruined their skin, it thinned their skin. There are study after study after study. That is not the case. What may have happened with people is that they may have continued to use retinol too quickly, uh, too, maybe it was too strong and they had a reaction to that and they let that go on for a long period of time and irritated and inflamed skin is gonna be a problem. So I'm not saying that for some people retinol, they just can't tolerate it and there are alternatives to it. But for most of us, retinol is going to be the queen of queen of ingredients in skincare that's going to help your skin stay and look more youthful. Now, when we're talking about the neck area and retinol, there are a couple of products that I like to recommend. They're both by CeraVe. The first one is for you drier skin types. It is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Retinol Serum. That's this one right here, which has ceramides, of course, which help with hydration in the lipid barrier. And it also has hyaluronic acid in the formulation, which is a super hydrator. So again, we're hydrating and treating any sun damage and helping thicken up that skin by boosting collagen production. So the other version for the rest of you that don't have excessively dry skin would be the CeraVe Resurfacing Renewal Serum, which is this one. There's a little bit of difference. One's kind of purple and the other one's blue, but they're very clearly marked on the label. This one has licorice root and niacinamide in it, which is going to be anti-inflammatory and skin brightening. So the serums have a little bit more kick to them than just the retinol, very inexpensive. The one bottle of this will last you a month or so. And another thing to know about retinol is that it's best applied at night. It can be applied after you use your peptides. Any water-based serum that goes on first is going to be okay with the exception of copper peptides. And we talk about that in other videos on the channel. But 
Most peptide, water-based peptides like Inkyless Collagen Booster, products like Arbutin, those can go on first, then your retinol. And the reason that we always suggest that you use retinol at night is because it breaks down in sunlight on the skin and becomes much less effective. So there you have it. Retinol, number one on the list for helping to improve the overall look, tightness, youthfulness of the skin of the neck. All right, number two on the list, another way to help boost collagen production is a thing called microneedling. Now this is something we just started reviewing here on the channel. I'm in the process of testing out a device, a microneedling device. I'll explain this in a second. And the reason that microneedling is working so well for so many issues for people, for skin sagging, for collagen production, for helping to fade fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots, and even hair loss is because of the technique of these tiny little needles pricking the skin. Now, not deep enough for the skin to bleed, but deep enough to turn on the receptors on skin cells, telling them there's been an injury. And when there's an injury in the skin, things like stem cells are produced, more collagen is produced. They can be very effective. Microneedling has even been shown to be effective in stretch marks, scarring, like acne scarring. So this is a technique that is usually and has started and was developed in office. So there are in office treatments that are microneedling, and then there are the at-home treatments. The biggest difference are these little needles. You can probably see them right here. This little roller, derma roller, is covered in those little needles, and when it's applied to the skin, in a technique that allows these needles to prick the skin, that's what causes the turning on of those stem cells in the production of more healthier skin cells themselves along with collagen. And it even helps improve your products when you apply them afterwards. Now, I'm not gonna go through a whole micro needling session. I'm going to be doing an entire video on this process and device. But the difference is, again, is the at-home needles are much shorter. It's gonna take longer for you to see the effects, two to four months. If you're very consistent with it, you will see a general noticeable, visible, measurable improvement in skin elasticity and thickness, especially with scarring, fine lines and wrinkles, and age spots. The in-office treatments, which are kind of pricey, they're anywhere from a couple of hundred bucks to up to 500 bucks, they depend on how far the needles are going down in the skin. So these are done by a trained professional to reduce the risk of infection or going too deeply and causing damage to the skin because we're not actually trying to damage the skin. We're sort of tricking the skin into thinking it needs to be repaired. So a lot of times in those treatments, there are special products and topicals they use at the same time to give you more and more benefit. You guys have probably heard of the plasma, the blood vampire facial. That's what that's about. Anyway, I'll be covering all of that in a video dedicated to this. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure you do that so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Now, I will be putting links below in the video description box like I always do for the retinol creams that I just talked about and also the derma roller. It's by Aura. That's the one that I'm testing out. So I will have links for everything I talk about down in the video description box for you today to check out after the video. Okay, now here is one that I discussed in another video that got a whole lot of comments going on the channel and that is neck exercises do they work now many years ago more than i'm going to tell you how many no, i'm just kidding in my 20s again years ago right 57 20 what is that 30 some odd years ago i took a yoga class and one of the exercises that we learned or poses had to do with maintaining and strengthening the neck and the skin keeping the skin tight and taut around the neck and if you know someone who's done yoga their whole life they don't have saggy anything their skin just doesn't sag. It's because they've done all this muscle work under their skin over the years that has maintained the tightness between the layers of skin and the muscles underneath. Now, the important thing to understand about yoga exercises for the face, they do work. However, the goal is to strengthen the muscles and not stretch the skin. So the exercise that I gave in that other video I'm going to give to you again today, so you don't have to go find it, Although again, it will be linked below for you to watch after this video, but it's very simple. And the way you start it is by looking forward and lifting the chin even, you want your head even, and then you just pull up while making a swallowing motion. And that will pull the muscles and strengthen and stretch the muscles, not the skin. You won't feel the skin stretch, just the muscles. And you're gonna hold that pose for about 10 seconds. So count to 10, 15, you should get there. You can do that exercise five 
to 10 times in a row. I suggest when you first start doing these, just do them five times because you can make those muscles sore just like any muscle that you work out that hasn't been worked out before. So we want to look forward and then relax. And then we wanna look off to the side, not even with the shoulder, just off the shoulder and do the same thing. And you will feel it pull this area of the neck. Same thing. And then we wanna to go to this side. And hold that. That will help strengthen the muscles in the front of the neck and under the chin. Platysmal lines, you guys hate those. It does help reduce those. The thing is not to overdo it. Make sure you're not stretching your skin. You don't wanna move what that stretches skin. You just want to work those muscles. So I will be doing a full video on facial yoga. It's coming folks, I promise where I will go over all the facial exercises for you that you can do that help strengthen the muscles under the skin without stretching the skin because if we stretch the skin, we break down collagen and make it look worse. So that's coming up. But if anybody is a good example of doing that exercise when it comes to neck skin, I don't have any loose neck skin and I'm 57. So I'm a walking example of how well those exercises work and I just got this comment yesterday on the channel who did it. I challenged everyone in the how to skincare for the neck video to do the exercises and come back to me and let me know in a couple of months how that worked out. So here's the comment we got on that one and it speaks for itself. All right, the next product that I'm gonna talk about that helps lift and tighten the neck area is the medical grade silicone patches by CO. Now there are other brands of these. This is the brand that I tried out on the channel, CO. As I said, these are medical grade silicone patches. They've been used in plastic surgery for years to help prevent scarring. What they do is help super hydrate and they teach the skin, kind of reteach it, to stay in place. They pull moisture from the deeper layers of the skin forward into the superficial layers or outer layers of the skin and the results are really quite dramatic. People have given me so much good feedback on these uh, patches. The only drawback to them is that you must use them without other products on your skin or they won't stay put and you need to use them for a few hours a day. So if you can figure out a way to put them in your schedule where you have clean skin and can apply them for at least a couple hours a day in between your skincare routine or for a while before you do your final routine at night applying your retinol and your other products, it can make a dramatic difference in helping, the, especially the under chin area and the, the horizontal lines that go across the neck can greatly be reduced with this particular product. It's really inexpensive. And again, we'll place a link for this down below in the video description box. And of course there are the in-office treatments that are non-surgical that I've recommended before and want to mention here again, which is all therapy, which is a highly intense focused ultrasound therapy that goes deep into the layers of the skin, sparking collagen production to help lift and tighten skin. It works for about 85 to 90% of the people who do it. It actually gives them a very dramatic increase in the tightness and lift, making the skin under the neck look much, much younger. So it is a really great therapy. It's an in-office therapy. You can't do it at home and it can be expensive, $1,000 to about $3,000 a treatment, depending on how much of the neck area you're having to treat and how long the treatment goes. But I can tell you as an in-office therapy, if you're not getting anywhere with topicals or the things that we we're talking about in today's video, that might be something to consider saving up for or doing because it does really work for the majority of people. And it's so much less invasive than having a neck lift or surgery with all those risks and costs involved and there's really no downtime with this one you start to see improvement within the first couple of weeks after having the treatment done and of course there are the other topical creams that we've talked about on the channel like strivectin's tl advanced neck lifting cream plus i got a plus on there now those type of multitasking creams combine ceramides peptides, skin tightening and lifting complexes to help with the skin. They can be very expensive, but for some people, especially where it's dry skin related and there's not a lot of loose waggly skin under the chin, these particular types of creams can be very effective in helping your skin look much, much better. But again, it's a topical. It's going to have a limit to how much improvement it can give you, but it can also help prevent more sagging and more wrinkling of the skin. So it can be looked at both as a preventative and a long-term treatment that you can use in addition to these other things that I'm talking to you about. Now, I hope today's video was helpful for you guys in addressing the skin under and around the neck, making it a little more youthful, more taut, more sexy, 
That's what we all want. We want our skin to look really good. If the video was helpful, please give it a like, share it out. It really helps the channel. And let me know in the comments below what type of products you've tried that have worked well for you for the neck area. I'd really like to know. I might even review them. And don't forget to watch the videos that are coming up next because I have set them up to be more neck skin videos to help you guys get more deep dives into certain types of products and treatments that may work for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. You know how much I appreciate it. I know that you have a choice here on YouTube and I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. I love you. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on the next video. Got a skincare question you want answered? Just type Chris Gibson and the topic in the YouTube search bar and the video will come up.